Give thanks to the God of gods. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. To him who alone does great wonders. Who by his understanding made the heavens. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. Who made the great lights. The sun to govern the day. The moon and stars to govern the night. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. On the last day of this month, we have a holiday that is called Thanksgiving Day. It is celebrated the last Thursday of each November, and this year it will be on November 27th. We call it Thanksgiving Day. Now, having a national Thanksgiving Day, a national day of giving thanks, has a very interesting history. We usually uh, think about the pilgrims or the separatists coming to the new year, uh, coming to the new world in the year 1620. It was a very harsh winter, very difficult time for them. And uh, they made it through the winter. In the spring, they were able to plant their crops. And in uh, 1621, they decided to have a special day of thanksgiving. And uh, they harvested their crops and joined together and had a, a kind of a, a harvest celebration, a day of giving thanks. Well, then, in 1798, George Washington, the first president of the United States, proclaimed that November 26th was to be a, a one-time national day of thanksgiving. And this practice continued uh, into the early 1800s. Uh, different states, different groups of people would say this was the day of thanksgiving. Other people would say, no, this is the day of, of thanksgiving. Finally, in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln gave his famous thanksgiving proclamation in which he declared that the last Thursday in November is to be a national day of thanksgiving. Well, then in 1939, 1940, and 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt proclaimed that, no, the third day, in thir the third Thursday in November was to be the day of thanksgiving. Well, finally, in 1941, the United States Congress passed a joint resolution decreeing that Thanksgiving Day should fall on the fourth Thursday of each November. And thankful, uh, thank, uh, we give thanks that it remains to this day. So every fourth Thursday of November is now a national day of thanksgiving. Well, it took the people of the United States over 200 years to figure out when to have a national day of thanksgiving. But we as Christians know that every day is a day of thanksgiving, right? Amen. Amen. We as Christians, we as believers know that every day is a day to give thanks unto God. It is our heritage from the ancient Hebrews and it is our tradition as followers of Jesus Christ to give thanks. It is nothing new to us. I suppose that this is really nothing new to any of you here today, but I want to remind us how important it is for us to give thanks. Listen to all of these verses from the Bible that remind us to give thanks. And this is just a small portion of those verses from Scripture. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, to make petition, to give thanks, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will give you thanks, for you answered me, and you have become my salvation. At midnight, 
I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise for your glorious name. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among the throngs of people, I will praise you. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to him in song. You are my God, and I will give you thanks. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. You are the one who is and the one who was because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. How about this verse from the New Testament? And when Jesus had given thanks, he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus then took the seven loaves and the fish, which he, and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn gave them to the people. Then there's this verse that we don't always like. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. One last scripture verse, Psalm 100. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness continues to all generations. Yes, giving thanks is nothing new to us as Christians. The Hebrew Psalms over and over and over again remind us to give thanks. And also, we have the example of Jesus giving thanks. When um, we have a story in Matthew where Jesus fed 4,000 people and we're told that he was brought seven loaves of bread and a few fish. He took those loaves of bread, took those fish, lifted them up to God, and he gave thanks before they ate and before they were distributed among the people. We also have the example of Jesus gathering in that upper room to celebrate the Passover feast. The Passover feast which would become our Lord's Supper. Jesus gathered there with his disciples and we're told during the course of the meal that he took bread, he gave thanks for the bread, he broke it and then gave it to his disciples and told them to eat that this was his body. And then the Apostle Paul reminds us to give thanks in all circumstances. Not to, regret, not to give thanks sometimes, but to give thanks in all circumstances. I'd like to share with you this afternoon three reasons why Christians are continually giving thanks. Three reasons why we as believers in the Lord Jesus continually give thanks. First of all, every day we give thanks for God's beautiful and awesome creation. We give thanks for the rising of the sun. We give thanks for the warmth of the sun. We give thanks for the rain. God seems always to know when his uh, earth needs watering and he brings uh, the rain. We give thanks for the moon and the stars that give light at night. We give thanks for mountains and rivers and oceans. 